Okay, so guys, and welcome back to another life story. It's uh, been a long time since we've done one of these, but yeah, here we go. Let's get into the story. So it was in like the sixth grade where I was, uh, there was, I was going through a lot of changes. Okay. I'm not talking about puberty, but I'm just talking about social wise. Now I never used to like go out much and I never used to like, I, how do I explain it? I was basically very isolated, and especially where I live, like, I live on top of a mountain, and it's really hilly, and it's such a pain to, like, get to places. And this was around the stage when I started to actually start to leave, and I was riding my bike down the road, even though it was horrible because of all the hills and stuff. So, I was going to this school, okay, this primary school at the time, and I was only there for, like, the last, like, semester or term or whatever, because I got kicked out of my old one, which that's a story for another time. And I thought it'd be cool, you know, to ride my school, like, ride my bike to school. And uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ride my bike. No problem, I've done this before. So anyway, I asked my mum, she said yes, surprisingly. And then, uh, yeah. You know, put my helmet on, which I don't usually do, but I did for once. I put my helmet on, you know, had my school shit, and I started riding. And, you know, as I went down the mountain, it, it was pretty windy because I was going pretty fast. Now, this is one part of the hill, right, where it goes up a little bit, and then it just goes straight down from there, and it goes super fast, right? And then as you get to, like, sort of, like, the bottom, the road's just flat. Now, I go flying down this mountain, I could not hear a single thing, like, all I heard was wind. And then, there was a car behind me, which I did not know about, right? And then, because I was dumb enough, what I did, because this bike was so small, I ended up pedaling, which actually made me freaking misplace my foot, and then I freaking hit the ground, which got my, like, foot caught, like, in the ground and on the pedal and then I freaking go flying over the handlebars I can't remember what happened to my bag but I go f I go like grinding on the freaking road my arm is like bleeding my knee is my hand is I actually still have scars on my knee and arm actually like showing this it's pretty big and uh, yeah anyways I just go flying across this road and there's a car behind me, which I didn't even realize until I actually got up. And I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? Like, I think I was in shock or something. Because I was just like, holy shit. And, um... Yeah, the person got out of their car and they're like, holy shit, man, are you okay? I'm like, I'm good. And I just grabbed some water. And I got my stuff. And they're like, look, where do you live? I'll drive you home. And I said, uh... Yeah, just up the road from here. I'm not too, too fun. Like, that was a really good stack. I wish I had it on film. And I'm like, yeah, I wish so too. And, uh, yeah, it started to sting. I was bleeding. There was a bit of blood on this lady's car, which I feel so bad for. And she just seemed so nice. And apparently she actually lived, like, down the road from me, which I had no idea. So I only just met her that day. So, I mean, I guess that was cool. So anyway, she drove me home. And then... I yell to mom and I go, hey mom, and then she goes, oh, what the fuck are you doing back here? And then she just goes, oh my god, and then she freaks out, so yeah, I was, I lost a lot of blood, and uh, the reason why I say that is because it was legit all over me, and running down my freaking, you know, arms and legs and stuff, so as usual, I never go to the doctors, so I just got my mum to patch me up because, uh, yeah, th I saw a lot of, like, muscle and all this other bullshit that was, like, coming out of me and was visible. It was pretty deep, some of the stuff. Like, I had rocks inside of me and everything. It was bad. Like, it stung like fucking hell. So, I was patched up, like, a lot. I could barely walk. It fucking hurt. And I was a dumbass and... I wanted to go to school for some dumb reason. I should have just stayed home. Honestly, regarding going to school, I wish I just stayed home, but uh, I'm, a, I'm just a fucking idiot and went to school because Jesus Christ, even though I had no friends, I, I still went. I, I don't fucking know why I was new to the school. 
But anyway, guys, moral of the story is, don't be cocky and ride your bike to school and, and then go back to school because, honestly, it's better to just stay home and play video games um, because, you know, screw friends and trying to make friends, uh, for me at least. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like. Um, comment down below if you experienced something similar to this, where you've just crashed your bike, and yeah, just tell me in the comments below. Um, but yeah, see you all later. Stay sexy, Quantums, and goodbye. See you.